from Unicorn Elsa. And Toothless. And we haven't made a video in a really long time. No, we've been, we've been gallivanting around the country. Yes, we were in Washington, D.C. for eight days. Yes. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday Sunday, 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 Monday. Nine. We were there for nine days. Yes. We for were Envision for NILF. En Envision Pathways to STEM, the National Youth Leadership Forum, which I was uh, nominated for by my principal, and I did right on. Yep. Um, so you were supposed to be there. The but, classes were Monday through Friday. Yes. And, and it was for one week, Monday through Friday, from 8.30 to 5.30, but you had to be there at like 7.45. So you never got to see anything? No. And then we stayed three extra days. And Grandma came to town. Yes. Which was cool. She flew we down to meet us there. Yeah, we didn't vlog it, um, even though we said we would. <laughs> We were tired, man. We were yeah. walking a lot. And we didn't vlog it, and we were like, you're going to meet Grandma, and we never vlogged any no. of it. We didn't vlog any. I did one live on Instagram, and that's it. Yes. But we took a bunch of pictures. So some of those... We will, didn't take a lot of pictures. Some yet. of those will probably be on Instagram. Yes. Or we could do maybe. a video photo album or something. Yeah, maybe. Like we did for Universal, yeah. Yeah, I can make a little video. Anyway, I did get this. this okay. It, well, it's just sitting here. Is my biohazard do not drink at your own risk water bottle, which um, from by the way, your Skelly Girl water bottle should be coming from um, the International, International Spy, Spy Museum. Museum. Yes. And we're gonna do a little haul of everything that we got, and there is a lot of it. So that was the drawstring backpack that we just showed you that we got for the first day for um, yes, everything. Can I show you your certificate? Yes. But I have to cover up your last name. Yeah, just cover up my name. <laughs> so this is your certificate right here. Yeah, that's the certificate of achievement for completing the National Youth Leadership Forum. And I can come back as alumni whenever I want. And you can nominate anyone now. No, I nominated a teacher so that she can nominate <laughs> anyone. Which I did. Yes. Okay, so that's your certificate. Yes. You want to show your book? Yes. That so, book's pretty cool. This is the Scholar Handbook, which is the handbook that we used every day to learn everything. And they do need your signature on a lot of stuff. Yes. Like here, I had to sign. Also, uh, I think it was on Thursday. Oh, I had to sign. Um, so basically, here, hold on. Gigi decided to read me every single page. That was Friday. <laughs> and how many pages was it? 120. It's 124. It's 100. I thought it was an even 120. It's 100. So you're taking way too much time. To it's 117. Oh, 17. 117 pages. But and we did it all in one night. Two hours. So. Yeah. Okay, so here it has what you learn. So, um, engineering, design, CSI. Uh, Which was your favorite? Yes, that was my favorite. Medicine and leadership. What was your second favorite? Medicine? Medicine. Or leadership? Well, medicine. Really? Leadership, that was boring. That's not even an official like category. The whole program is based <laughs> it is on so. The whole program is based on leadership. It was good. They I I mean Although, it was hands on stuff from the whole time. I thought mm -hmm. the classes were a bit long for children your age. Kids. Right. But anyway, um, but it was cool. I did cool like people. I did like engineering. I didn't think I was gonna like it. I did like the MBOT like series that they showed. Me. It was neat how they did it. Yeah, <laughs> making I made robots that and one. stuff. You know that, right? Should give a shout out, Wait, Josie. Know. That's all I'm gonna say. Don't shout say out to your Josie. Last name. Yes. I don't. Oh, I do remember. No, yes, I do. Yeah, Doesn't matter. It's <laughs> Why are you whispering? It just makes me have to edit stuff. Okay. I didn't even say it, so. I don't know. But I don't anyway, shout out to Josie. Yay! 
Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to show you all every single one. We'll just do the stem stuff first. Also, you got this really cool little badge, which so, I'm covering. Yes, basically the entire thing. But it is a badge that you get your first day, um, and you cannot take it off. They have to know yes. who you are. They have to know who you are, where you're from, what group you're in, because there's a bunch of different Where's groups. Your spy badge? Right here. No, your lanyard. Oh, I have it. So, this is your visor a that visor you made. that I made, and mm -hmm. I did put my name on it. So. That's cool. Um, yep. I just put the STEM Avengers, which was the name for us, and then I did the math symbols, so like plus minus times division, and then I made a science. Science. Oh yeah, science <laughs> beaker, and then uh, computer and gears for engineering. Science, technology, engineering. Now. Yes. So. Now, while you were at STEM, Grandma and I went to a couple everywhere. A couple places where we didn't think you would be would want to go. One was the Holocaust Museum, which you would not uh, like. I, I think every person's person Persian. persons should see it, but okay. Your pen is more important than the Holocaust. No. <laughs> so, it was really depressing, um, but I think everyone should see it, especially given our times today in this country. I've never seen it. And that's all I'm going to say. I've never seen it. <laughs> Mal got a pen. Hey, Gigi. I mean, Gigi. Beep. You going to show it? It's cool because yes. it's got... Um, it is. It does say Envision. Envision, envisionexperience.com, hashtag Carpe Futurum, and it just... That's the dog. And it does have a stylus at the end of it. Yeah, I like those ones. I <laughs> drop everything. At least you didn't poke my eye this time. <laughs> Ow! Um, I like the one that's got... Uh, that's your fault, I didn't do that. It's got the, um, the pen comes out of the thing. Those are neat. Anyway, then one of the other oh, days, I know what you're we just, about. we went... We rode to Ronald Reagan Airport because that's where we need to go. We found out you could take the subway there, so that was one day. Mm -hmm. The Another subways day. are so awesome. Yeah, you love that's your you love the subways. And then um, another day we went to Arlington Cemetery, which was I didn't go. There. It was uh, yeah. I, no, I think you'd like it. I would have died. Oops. That was pen falling. It was it was pretty cool, um, very inspiring, and I think that. Every single person in this country should go to D.C., oh, go yes. to that cemetery, go to all the monuments and read what's written on or carved mm -hmm, into the walls of those, those monuments. they have all of the quotes that those people yeah. said. So, like, they have the Declaration of Independence at the Jefferson Memorial. They have... Um, much yeah. Martin Luther King quotes. They have a bunch of Martin Luther King. They have Jefferson. Albert Einstein quotes. I just yeah. Know. Oh, you said Jefferson. And Lincoln. they have Lincoln. They have the Gettysburg Address. Yeah. At Lincoln. Memorial. Kennedy. I think they don't have a Kennedy. Oh, it was. We went to it on the. Yeah, they do. It's on the I Arlington didn't go there. tour. Yeah. Oh. And they and have a lot of his stuff, but they have the entire thing for Franklin D. Roosevelt. Constitution. There's a lot of stuff for that, but we went and saw the Constitution, right? Yes. That was on the trolley tour. But everybody yeah. should go see those documents because mm -hmm. uh, it definitely gives you some perspective oh, yeah. on we this went, country. We went to the National Archives and we went and saw the real Declaration of Independence and the real Constitution. Yes, with and the they're, Bill of Rights. They're so faded. Yeah, especially the Constitution. Like you can't read them at all. But you can see John Hancock's little thing. Everyone should go see those because oh, yes. you get so caught up in the political stuff in this country, especially right now, that you just you lose sight of really what the founding fathers of this country wanted. We are, and um, we are whoo -hoo, way, 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 yes. way out of focus right we, now. We, uh, we are, we were the only people that got off at the National Archives. Yeah, people weren't even interested in those. I mean, the Declaration of Independence, which is like. To me, is like the most, that is the most rebellious document ever like, written. It's one it's of the just, most important documents. It is that in the Constitution. They're the foundation of what this country yeah. is. Yeah, both yeah. those documents. Thomas so, Jefferson, July. Anyway, 17th. whether whatever your political affiliation, you should probably go go to it. Not probably, you should, and get a reality check because the way things are right now are not yes. how the founding fathers intended this country to be. Okay. And that's the end of my political 
not even a rant, it's just a statement. Are we showing okay. Okay, let me go. So we did Arlington, Holocaust, that was without you. Then you finally ended your NILF stuff and we finally started riding the rails. Our, um, Those are Metro or mm -hmm. metro cards. Subway cards, yep, metro cards. Metro passes. They yeah. those are three day passes, which are really cool because you can ride any train anywhere. For three days. Um they take you it's great. We loved it. Oh, um, it's I so much it. fun to ride them. Oh yeah. It's the only way to travel for me because you don't have to drive. Oh, you see. And um they're they're clean. Um and if you can just figure out the map and stuff, how to change trains mm -hmm. and where you can change trains, they're awesome. Most people can figure them out. I don't know. I yeah. loved it. Okay, these are three uh, Mount Vernon tickets. Well, one is not. Yes, Mount Vernon, Mount Vernon, Mount Vernon. Well, this, oh, that, these two are, but this one is just a receipt. Oh, it is? Yeah, see, oh. these say 155 This is the receipt. <laughs> For the ticket. Does it have the price on there? Yeah. Yeah. You don't need to get it. Well, it wasn't bad. It was 32 bucks. <laughs> That's how I have to do it. Okay. And then we have... And then the tickets. These are the tickets. And it was really cool. It was... Oh. oh. I, it was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Oh. We almost didn't go because we drove to Mount Vernon which is before in we came home, which is out, it's, really out of the way for it's us. In, because it's in Virginia. Which yeah. Which I knew that. But it was cool. I could have run that entire We learned a lot about tour. that place and... Our, it's really made of wood, not not sandstone. Mm -hmm. It's just made to look like sandstone. It's and they were what every thirty years they every peel off all years, the paint. They replace it, and every and, seven they just clean it and repaint. They put yes, a layer of paint. They on. put a layer of paint. But every thirty Listen, they got to peel all the paint off, and I they do it this. all by hand. Yes, they do it by hand. They did it how they did it in the seventeen hundreds. Yes, which... exactly. They you have to use a handsaw and everything. They don't use any power power tools. Listen, I could run that tour anyways. Yeah, you know, you really knew a lot about it. Mm -hmm. But what was cool about it was that what seemed like something to complain about, we're like, oh man, there's all this scaffolding all over it. We actually got to see something that only occurs every 30 years. Yes. So that's the way we looked at it. It was cool. Yes, it was so awesome. Um, because... Real paintings, paintings from when he actually lived oh, there, yeah. bedroom, everything. All like original. Like the real things from when, like the bed that he died in. The bed he died in. The bed he died in. And... His wife boarded up their bedroom after he died and she moved upstairs. Yep. Or downstairs. So that was that. And we yeah. really liked it. She was 4'11". <laughs> yes. <laughs> Martha Washington, 4'11". George, 6'2". 6'2 and a half. 6'2 and a half. Right. Okay. What else we got? Okay. So before we did that, though, oh, here's, we, here are all the places that you can eat at. Near our hotel. Near, just near our hotel. Just near our hotel. There's probably about 100 on There's here. There's at least 100 on here. Okay. Well, at least. Yeah. And they even group them by the different cuisines. Like different, you want Vietnamese, Indian, if you want, American. Uh, I mean, it's just crazy. If you want, yeah. Like, if you want sushi, they just have sushi. You just here. find sushi and you go there. Tells you where it is and everything. Uh, uh, they had it somewhere on here. Okay. 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 There you go. Now, time for some brochures. Oh, joy. So, this is a map of Washington, D.C. Like, the trolley stops and everything. Not that important. This is a map. <laughs> no, yeah, it's not that important. It was just like... No. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Old Town Trolley one. This takes you to every historical landmark. Yes. We strongly recommend you do that rather than try to walk to the mall. It takes you to oh, the White House, all yes. the monuments. It takes you to the uh, Capitol. Yeah. Um, all the museums. Lincoln, everything. All the museums, all the monuments. It does not take you to um, Einstein. No, but it's right there. Because it's right by uh, Martin Luther King. Okay, this is the brochure for Mount Vernon. The map. There's a lot of stuff to see besides his home. Um, stables, kitchen. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff the that farm. you can see. The, the, the grounds kitchen. are huge. Yes, um, the kitchen is not even in the... <laughs> Oh. Yeah, it's a separate, separate building. And the laundry room is too. Yeah, but um, they, like, there's an the, ice house near the, the river and they stuff. Still it's pretty have cool. Sheep there. It's they still, did have sheep. They, they were still, pigs, but they're hogs. Hogs. They did have hogs, but they were not there. They I, just, I almost hit a pig on the way the way to Kroger last night. What? In the curve. No, you didn't. First, I thought it was that. a dog. I'm like, whoa, and then it was a pig. Oh. The little one. I love pigs. I didn't hit it. 
Okay, this one is too. This is the visitor's guide for the for the National Museum. We love no, this. No, this is National Museum. Just wanted a dollar, but we took it. Yeah, because there was no one working <laughs> there. Was there was no one working, so, and we so, weren't the only ones doing no, it. No, we the, weren't the first either. No, we weren't. The Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History. Yes, we really like this one. We also went to the space one, which was a it's huge kind of disappointing. We disappointment. Was yeah, it was a bit disappointing. They were like um, touch a moon rock, and it was literally that, like this big. Yeah, it's like a it, it looked like a tiny piece of a slate, and really it was more crowded than the natural museum, but man, it just oh, wasn't. Oh no, no! It really wasn't all that fascinating, and I love anything related to space, but I, it yeah, it wasn't my thing. It was cool to see like the we original, ate there, though. the Apollo one rocket and stuff like that. Yeah, we ate there and had the worst meal, worst food we ever had in our entire lives. At the National Archives, not the museum. Oh, at the archives. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. oh, and tasty. Um, that wasn't that bad. Oh, you had the. Oh, God, it was awful. Anyway. Yours might have been bad. We ate at the National Archives. Yes. Oh. We all, yeah. And we also went to the bathroom there. We and want a shirt that They didn't that. even. I got a grilled cheese and they didn't even melt the cheese. <laughs> it was so bad. Like, it was, it was just two pieces and it was burnt, which I don't even know how that's possible if they didn't even, like. Okay. Arlington. It was bad. Arlington. Arlington. She didn't go. Grandma and I did. We also got to see on the front of this the changing of the guard in front of the unknown oh, tomb got, of the unknown you got soldiers. To see it change? Yeah. Not just I have a video of it. Though. I sent it to you. You just change. You just. No, I've got one where they change walking. it. Yeah. Um, no. And someone passed out because it was so hot. Yeah. Okay. That tomb, by the way, is guarded 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, no matter what the weather is. Nope. So these are the. Ooh, oh, now we're getting to the good stuff. International here. Spy Museum Your favorite tickets. Stuff. I love the spy, the spy Museum. It was really cool. It's it got moved and it's bigger now than it originally was. Oh yes. So they're kind of re, re promoting. I love it. forensics. I told and you this. I think that's what you should get into. You have the mind for it, like oh, laser yeah, focus. I know. So you go to the Spy Museum and the first thing you give you is. An undercover mission badge. Yes. And you're a spy. Oh, they give you an undercover name of where a you're code from. Name. Yeah, where you're from. Um, what your job is. Like you're vet, like I was, I was a, a photographer. I was a veterinarian. Yeah, she was a veterinarian. Based on the pictures that I chose, which were yeah. all of the animals. My name was Avery Torres. Torres, and mine was Drew Wright. Um, With W R. And I was from Tokyo. And I was I don't know where I was from. I was from Tokyo, Japan, and my mission was in the Netherlands. Uh, and then they email you. Thing about it too, mm -hmm. which I got. And so you have two skills. Mine was memory and something else. I don't know. Yeah. Based on because everything's interactive there, so. It's oh yes, cool. and they have a bunch of different missions that you can do, like solving cases yeah. and everything. Well, we said we were only gonna be there two hours tops. We were there three hours and more, and we could have stayed there longer, but we wanted to get we to had Washington. To, we, had, we had to go <laughs> and to the, the National Museum. Yeah, we didn't even finish it. We had to no. leave the last. The last. I we made it. Yeah. Oh, I did get this button. <laughs> oh, from In these the... troubled times, I figured we should just go back to the beginning and just re-elect George, George Washington, Washington as president. president. That's it. Okay. Here's the brochure from the International Spy Museum. This yeah. It was cool. We hit every floor. We did everything. Um, we were there a long time, but it was fun. Oh, yes. I, oh. I got this there. And it was so hot, we got water every chance we got water. Mm -hmm. And they got we got water there. And I had a little backpack, her little milk backpack. And yeah, so we've been saving oh, the spy. and I'm wearing my shirt. Because it's a spy. International Spy Museum, yep. Washington, D.C. Since yes. 2002. Plus and you got that. I got yep. this, which is a wallet. And it's a special agent Your name's on the front. <laughs> It says special agent on the front, and there is a little... <laughs> Go name Drew Wright. <laughs> That's what I had to put on there. I didn't see that part. Yeah, so when they, sh they sh want her credentials, Gigi can just flash that in their face. Yes. Yes. Um, That's this from one, Mount Vernon. I had to talk you into getting this, because you were like, eh, I'm going to just get it. I really liked it, and I didn't know how expensive it was. Ah, it yeah. says we were on vacation. What the Great want? Seal of the United States. I'm trying very hard not to drop this. Yeah, please don't. But it's really cool. It comes in a nice box. Mm -hmm. It's just a paperweight, but it's just really cool. It's very. It's almost like a prism. It is a prism. Yeah. 
It is. A and thing. it says uh, United States of America. And it's got Washington all the America. major so it has monuments and stuff the on it. U.S. Capitol, the Lincoln Memorial, the Iwo Jima, Iwo Jima, the White House, the Jefferson Memorial, the, and the Vietnam Soldiers. I didn't know it was labeled. And it says Washington D.C. in there. And Note the, on Iwo Jima. And the Washington Monument is in the middle. It should be. You can see the thing from everywhere. Remember? Yeah, you can see it. From Note on Iwo Jima. I was. Most people know what it is. Maybe I not by name, but it's the one with the Marines hoisting the flag, oh, pushing the flag. Oh, yep, I know what that is. That thing is in the middle of nowhere, and it's surprising to me because that's one of the most well-known monuments or photos in history, literally, iconic. Because and I literally didn't know that existed. <laughs> you didn't know that one? And, I mean, you have to walk over, over some field to get to it. Um, but it's there, and it's really, really big, and it's really, really cool. One British guy was there walking the other way, and I was like, is it over there? And he said, yeah, and he said, it's impressive. I know. There, impressive. There were not a lot of them. Yes. Okay, here's something else that we got at the... Um... Oh, that's a game. Oh, I forgot about the game. Look. Really cool game. It's kind of like Clue, but not. No, it's called Spy Alley, and basically, you get your own secret identity... So you're either German, French, Russian, American, Italian, or Spanish spy. Mm -hmm. No British. No British spy. Even though they're like... Uh, the, even though they're like the number one like spy the network. Like and everything. Yeah. Number one spies. Redcoats. Come Red on, coat. babe. Yeah, that's from George Washington. Oh. Time. The Redcoats were the British. Tell them who else was in, in the spy museum as a do double agent. Severus Snape. Snape. Hey, where's your Voldemort mug? Uh, it's up in the cabinet. Basically, um, you, the other person, no, let me go back. You can buy, um, code books, uh, passwords, <laughs> disguises, or keys. And if you get all of your items for your spy, you win. Or... No, you have to return to your embassy. And you have to be on your... You have to like roll to land on them. And you can and eliminate spies by guessing who they are. Yes, so you can eliminate the person if the other person guesses. Yeah. I have one zero down. <laughs> but if Although you, well, because only, if you guess and you're wrong, we've you're only wrong. played it twice. Though, yeah. So. But yeah, it's a really cool game. So we got that. And then yes. another thing we got at the thing was this this mug. It says, he who must not be named. And then, and then it has Voldemort on it's it. It's really cool. They had Harry Potter stuff because of Snape. Which, yeah. it actually makes sense that Snape was there. Because well, we were in there. And one of the hugest double agents yeah, of all time. Ever. Okay, you also got... Oh, yes. I got this at the National Archives. It is a poster. A replica, I guess. Of the Declaration of Independence, which... Not the Constitution. And they have those, no. too. But I we actually were... haven't taken this out yet. Nope. But we're more, um... No, this is Declaration of Independence people. Mm -hmm. This is an exclusive National Archives poster. You cannot get this anywhere else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's cool because... Because it, this is the... Like, epitome of... Rebelliousness. Mm-hmm. Is... Basically writing this document and signing it. And the Constitution as well, obviously. But mm -hmm. I like this because we're rebels. It's basically saying goodbye, King George. Also, they had this thing in a spy museum where you you can trust other spies and we could not trust each other. Mm -hmm. And if you don't trust each other, you get shocked. Yes. Which so we did. You can either trust them or betray them. Yes. We both were we going to betray each other. We both betrayed each other. <laughs> so, <laughs> when you get shocked, it's really just a It's tangle. not very, it's, it's not as it's much as. It's just tingly. Well, Grandma got Gigi this book, which at the time we were like, oh, that's nice. But once you see it mm -hmm. and go like, in we there. We saw all those things. Yeah, you can really see a lot of the stuff like, that. we saw George Washington's real desk. with It still had his glasses on it. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Like, it was awesome. It's where he wrote his will and testament. Mm-hmm. Then for some reason, you got slime. <laughs> you let me, remember? We got slime at the National Museum of Natural History, the dinosaur gift shop. I got two. The dinosaur fossil putty and crazy Aaron's thinking putty super scarab. <laughs> I have wanted this one for so long. It is beautiful. Can I just show them what it looks like? I mean, yeah, but don't make it a slime video. It's beautiful. 
And then this one has a little T-Rex in it. Yes, although that one is super rippy. Super rippy. Like, I literally can't even play with it. There's a T-Rex in it, what do you want? Is that all we got? Then we got shirts. Shirts. Lots and lots of shirts. Go ahead and show off your shirt. Okay. Although this first is shirt I got was at the STEM MILF thing. This was just a Washington DC shirt, it's kind of cool. Yeah, they had a store at the uh, campus. Yes. And so. But yeah, I already showed off this shirt, but I'm gonna show it Then off. I got this at Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon. POTUS 1. President of the United States, <laughs> if you don't know what that stands for. Then I accidentally bought a women's shirt, <laughs> <laughs> which I now have to go online and buy a men's shirt. And we didn't realize until we came home. And this was an extra large, it's, and I'm like, man, this is... It says, I'm telling you nothing happened, and the red, it says, I'm lying. Yes. So, yeah. And then my last shirt was from... from the, the National Museum of Natural History, Smithsonian. Was this one with a little T Rex skull on and it? And it just says National Museum of Natural History. Yeah, so I like that one. Then Gigi got the first shirt was from the NILF the campus store. Campus and store. Tie dye, and it says I Heart DC, which I do. And it's just tie dye on the back. Mm -hmm. It's my second tie dye shirt. My other tie dye shirt is um, Stitch. Okay, this is my Mount Vernon shirt, and it says. Mount Vernon, George Washington slept here, established 1674. Plus you're wearing uh, a spy shirt. This, yeah, I, like I already this showed shirt. that off. Oh, okay. And then you got... This ooh. shirt from the National Archives, which has the Declaration of Independence on it. Awesome. With all of the signatures. That is so cool. Yeah, I like I that love one. This is the only shirt I haven't worn. National Museum of Natural History, and it has a stegosaurus on it. So and there you go. Those are all the shirts, and so we got a lot of shirts. We went to a lot of places. Um, I mean, woo, yeah. we went everywhere. Jefferson and Memorial, Einstein Memorial, FDR Memorial. FDR, he's sitting all by himself in the rain. <laughs> Uh, Lincoln Memorial, Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial, uh, Washington Monument, obviously, White House, but you can only get so close, <laughs> the yeah. Capitol, the National Archives, the Spy Museum, the National Museum of Natural History, Smithsonian, the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum, Without You, Arlington, Mount Vernon. Holocaust, and Mount Vernon, and Ronald Reagan Airport. <laughs> I went to Ronald Reagan. I know you went to Ronald Reagan. And Mount Vernon, but that's in Virginia, so. So? Doesn't. The others were in D.C., not Maryland. We loved it. We just absolutely loved it. It's not a very long drive from where we're at, and we'll probably go back very soon. So. Okay? Yes. So. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Subscribe to be part of our snow unicorn army. A thumbs up and friend us on Twitch. It's www.twitch.tv slash moved to WV. You haven't been on there in a while. No. Um, listen to our podcast at anchor.fm slash the Slytherin Twins. Haven't been on there in a while either. No, and we're but on I about six new podcast channels and I so, forgot what they are. <laughs> Breaker, I know, is one of them. Breaker was one, yeah. Uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Breaker, I know that for sure. Yeah. Something fun. And something else. I would look it up on my phone, but... Right. <laughs> um. Anyway, but we Maybe have, we'll post I a think, quick video. I think the next thing that we'll do for our podcast is DC. But we can't. Never mind. Our podcasts are Harry Potter only. Oh, right, our podcast. Okay. Anyway, and follow us on Instagram at unicornelsa09. I don't think that's the way it goes that way. I don't think so. I think it goes this way. But I could... I think it goes this way. This way? From my right. So this I way. think. Oh, so I did do it right. Okay. Uh, at unicornelsa09. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.